Welcome to Paulson Stadium in Statesboro, Georgia. Tonight we have Sunbelt Football, the conference opener for UL Monroe, taking on Georgia Southern that opened last week with a big road win at South Alabama. Good evening, I'm Matt Stewart, joined by Stan Luter. Running games, a big story for the Warhawks. Expecting a packed house here at Paulson Stadium tonight. It's parents weekend here in Statesboro. They think they might have a shot to break the all-time attendance record here. McCray has it go through his hands and through the back of the end zone. And so the Warhawks will bring it out to the 25-yard line for their first possession of the evening. And led by their... And, and making the run a very accurate passer, very smart, sees well. It would be very important, I think, for ULM to get off to a solid start, get some first downs, move to change, play with some confidence. Garrett Smith going to throw on his first play, throws complete to a Jalen Holly at the 42-yard line, and that's going to be Jones making the tackle on the play for the Eagles, and it's first and 10. Jalen Holly, a preseason second team, all-conference performer, runs good routes, his seventh catch, this is his eighth, actually. Really a smart player. Hand off to Ben Luckett. He is met immediately in the backfield by Ironhead Gallon. Ha <laughs> ha! My longer was going to take before. <laughs> Keeper by Smith, and Smith up to the 49 yard line, tackled by Ukime Iligwe. Eagles had the top third down defense in the conference, number one, allowing less than 21%. Smith on the run, and Smith is going to be sacked. Back at the 47-yard line, William Bussey, the linebacker, the first guy to get to him, and it's going to be fourth down. Georgia Southern does a great job of putting yards per kick, which is fourth best in the conference. And a boomer, Crockett, steps up to the 11 to take it. And Crockett is going to be dropped immediately by Jarrell Brown, and that's where the Eagles will put the ball in play. Right there about the 11-yard line, first time to see the offense here for the Eagles and they've got two quarterbacks and they're very good quarterbacks pitch goes to Brita Brita tries to turn the corner and does open backfield to try to get their backs in open space and create one-on-one -on -one matchups for them keeper for Upshaw ball is fumbled and picked up by Brita and Brita's going to go down back at the six yard line as Shaquille Warren tackles him the ball at the seven so third down and 14 Goes to Brita. Not much doing for Brita on that carry right there. I think Warren again was the first guy to hit him. And it's going to be fourth down, and the Eagles are going to have to punt out of their own end zone. Something they're not accustomed to doing very often. Marcus Green stands back at the 47-yard line. Heavy rush, and Flynn gets it out of there. A booming kick. Green has to retreat all the way back to the 36-yard line to get it. Heads up the far sideline, and Marcus Green steps out of bounds at the 49, and so good field position for the Warhawks for their second possession of this game so far for the Warhawks as they start their second possession at their own 49. And if you UL Monroe, you got to be very happy about that defensive series. Smith goes to the air and throws complete to Xavier Brown, who makes the grab at the 44-yard line and picks up seven on the play. We talked in the open about some outstanding running backs. There's some outstanding guys on these guys throughout this ball game. That was the fourth catch of the season for Xavier Brown. Handoff right up the middle. Big gain for Luckett and a first down down to the 32-yard line. Start offensively also for UL Monroe. Devin Jackson, Eastwood Thomas doing a nice job on that right side. Holly goes in motion. They throw the tunnel screen to Xavier Brown. Man misses him. He's headed for the end zone, and Brown is in there for the touchdown. 32-yard touchdown pass play. Garrett Smith just dropped it off to Xavier Brown, and he did all the heavy lifting. Jet fake, the slant, and then Brown just really good job of blocking. Look at that, Jeff Savage down there with an early hit, and then the strength of Xavier Brown, his first touchdown of the season. Solid had to have today if they want to stay in this ball game. Craig Ford on for the PAT.
He puts it through. Now eight for eight on the season, and the Warhawks have taken a 7-0 lead. Three on third down. They did that on that drive. They're able to get points on the board. Ford with the kickoff. Crockett will have a chance to return this from the five. Monte Crockett to the 25, and Crockett up to the 27-yard line. And that's where the Eagles will... Upshaw started the game. Ellison takes over in the second series. That's Ross Alexander, the tight end in motion. Handoff goes to Breida. And Breida, big hole for Breida, up to the 40-yard line. And a guy like Breida do the rest. First down and 10 from the 40. We have our first flag of the ball game. Jason Autry is our referee tonight. The Eagles have had some problems with penalties. They're ninth out of the 11 teams in the Sun Belt in penalties, and that's their first of the night, a five-yard markoff coming. Averaging nine penalties a ball game over to Kevin Ellison, number eight in the conference and rushing 71 and a half yards per game. He's yet to throw an incompletion this year. He's six for six in their first two games. Small sample size. He's going to run the pitch, and he's in trouble instead, and he's going to take a loss way back at the 33-yard line. And this Warhawks defense has come out and played again going in reverse back at their 34-yard line. Caleb Tucker at one end, Shaquille Warren, we've already called his name at the other defensive end, have got to play solid football today. Fields takes the toss from Ellison. And he's going to get back to the original line of scrimmage, but a flag out. This could be going against the Eagles. And a second flag comes out. That might go against the Warhawks. Play, illegal block below the waist. Offense number 36. Like Honda, defense number 90. It's 90's first on sports penalty for the game. He's offset, will replay second down. So Breida, the offensive penalty part of the season. Well, you got a lot of guys he's sharing the ball with this year. Ramsby, we haven't talked about, will get in and carry it. And of course, the quarterbacks do an outstanding job. They run the same play again. Fields takes the toss. Fields will not be able to turn the edge. Great. And it's third down and 16 then. Keeper, Ellison. Ellison's going to be wrapped up and thrown to the ground. Not much running. Marcus Green, the sophomore out of Mississippi, stands back at the 20-yard line to take this kick from Flynn. Snap infraction. Offense, number 86. Five-yard penalty. Fourth down. Second penalty on them. They've actually had three flags, two penalties called on them so far in the first uh, eight minutes of this game. Flynn, Green will step up and call fair catch at the last moment at the 29-yard line, and so that's where the Warhawks. Freshman and Duke Carter. If these guys can do something on the ground game, short passing game led by Holly Turner and Brown, can offset a little bit of, of having Smith run the football as much. There's Smith running it, his third carry, and Smith up to the 35-yard line. This is, be, this is going to be interesting there, Matt. You, you got to bring come out. In Will Collins, or do you take a timeout? We get Smith back in the ball game. Pressure coming off the edge, and <laughs> nothing doing right there. Well, if I'm back in there and facing a third down and seven, Warhawks 0 for 1 so far on their third downs, but they're 42 percent on the season. And Smith, in trouble, gets out of it, and then dumps it off to Luckett, who can't make the grab. He had all kinds of real estate in front of him, but couldn't make the 16-yard line to kick. Monte Crockett, who's number one in the conference, averaging 18 yards per return, will not be able to return this one. Bounces sideways and finally dead at the 29 and a half, and that's where the other nothing. Matt Viator told us that his defense really had to play assignment football this week, and they've done a good job of executing that. Upshaw in the ball game, got a man open and overshoots. Malik Henry, who would have scored. He had a feeling that they would try to throw over the top pretty soon with seven, eight, maybe even nine guys in the Fabian Upshaw. There's two opportunities, one for both teams, where he get big plays going. Second down and ten, Wesley Fields on the carry, and Fields picks. Fields, you got a lot of options, and so if one guy's not having a hot hand, you hope another one will be. Upshaw rolling to his right under pressure, makes a man miss. 
Now scrambles and runs forward. Will not get to the sticks, however. Not the first two games. And remember, this is a UL Monroe team that was down 42 nothing at halftime. Offense, number 55. Five-yard penalty, fourth down. You know, they did down 40 points more. They really played solid in the second half. And I think that gave them the momentum to be able to come out with this good start so far against George Southern. Marcus Green, fair catch at the 28-yard line. And that's where the freshman Duke Carter now lines up beside Garrett Smith. Pressure coming off the edge. Smith delivers downfield. Long run down the sideline and out of bounds. And a touchdown. A big play a moment ago sets them in red zone area. Duke Carter on the carry. Nothing doing for Carter on that run as he gets stopped at the put in a game plan that's going to make it best and most advantageous, advantageous for his secondary. Garrett Smith's going to run it in for the touchdown. Garrett Smith takes it in from seven yards out, and UL Monroe has jumped out to a stunning 13 to nothing lead. This is a team that converted in the red zone. 80% ULM not wasting a lot of time getting on the board. And not a fluke either as Ford puts it through to make it 14 to nothing. 149 to getting beat on big plays defensively. We'll find out a lot about Georgia Southern on this drive. Crockett picks it up at the seven yard line. And Crockett goes down at the... And try to put the ball in the air a little bit more. Remember the first drive a moment ago, first play, they threw over the top for the incompletion. So first and ten for the Eagles. And the handoff goes to Ramsby. L.A. Ramsby batters his way up to the 34-yard line, knocking back Nick Ingram and close to a first down for the Eagles. Offensive line of Georgia Southern goes about 300 pounds on average to about... 365 for ULM. You see the dominance that time, what Georgia Southern fans are expecting. Ramsby, another first down, crosses the 50 and finally tripped up at the 46-yard line by Griffith. A couple of big runs by L.A. Ramsby. Ramsby also one of those former high school quarterbacks. Great speed, excellent vision. Starts inside, bounces to the outside. Near the offense for the Eagles in the rhythm. Eagles go up tempo, go to Ramsby again. It looks like they found a magic potion here with Ramsby, who had not played much in the first two games. In fact, did not play in the opener against Savannah State and did have five carries and a touchdown against South Alabama last week. But he's a guy that can score the ball. Had three touchdowns last season, can run. Also, the, the, the ability to catch the ball in the backfield. Complete Ellison to B.J. Johnson and another first down for the Eagles. So the Eagles have increased the tempo and kind of taken the uh, taken the momentum away from LM. Quick step by Ellison, get get Johnson in an opportunity to catch the ball, get a first down, keep the chains moving, go to the line scrimmage, run another play. Brita in the ball game. Brita gets the handoff, and Brita picks up about eight yards down to the 22. You are not going to be able to get Brita on one hit. He's got to be game tackle. Again, we talked about Matt Brita. Over 3,000 yards of the career, one of the top runners in Georgia Southern history. Hits once, bounces a second, leans forward, picks up eight. Second down, Brita gets it again. Another first down for the Eagles as Brita is down to the 14-yard line. Nick Ingram making the tackle, but another first down for the Eagles. It looked like a different offense in the series. And a timeout called by timeout. UL Monroe. Louisiana Monroe. It's the first church timeout of the half. This is a 30-second timeout. Drives all ended in punts. They've gone six plays, 59 yards, in 94 seconds on this, their fourth possession. Ramsby gets the ball again. Ramsby inside the 10-yard line and down to the 7-yard line for Ramsby. Curtis Rainey just demolished Beasley. Keep your eye on number 75. Just look at that. Just There's a hole wide enough for you and I. <laughs> Ramsby again this time. Tackled by Cortez Cisco. And now it's going to be third down and less than a yard. Ball just shy of the 
five-yard line with 15 seconds to play in the quarter. Keeper, Ellison, touchdown. Kevin Ellison with his third rushing touchdown of the season. We've seen a heavy dose of Ramsby. This time he faked it to Ramsey, pull it out, and Ellison knows exactly what to do. And that looks like the Georgia Southern offense that we've grown to expect over the last couple of seasons. Nine plays and 74 yards and took him less than two and a half minutes to get down the field. Young Wei Ku with the PAT and with seven seconds to play in the quarter. We're not going to let our egos get in the way. We're not going to try to take a round peg and stick it in a square hole. We're going to do what these players do best, and that's what they've done. They why Coach Summers said, I'm a blessed man. He takes over a program that had gone 14-2 and two their first two seasons in the Sun Belt. And you love this comment about no ego for me. My coaches are our players. Smith going to head downfield on the final play of the first quarter. Nice open field. West Southern 14-7 here in Statesboro. They've never won here in three all-time matchups dating back to their FCS days. Duke Carter on the carry, and Carter picks up a couple of yards. Just before the break, you've got a little out route. Turner gets about 13 yards on the first down. Cards are more on first down. It puts more pressure on the Georgia Southern defense. Again, this is a team that hasn't won time of possession all season in their two games. They'd love to be able to win possession and kind of dominate the line of scrimmage if possible. Second down a Jalen Holly on the sweep and a Jalen Holly to the 49. Third down and one. Warhawks are 0 for 2 so far on third downs tonight. Ball at the 49. Garrett Smith will keep it and pick up the first down and more. Garrett Smith down to the 44. Gallon makes another tackle. Clearing away, and you've got a quarterback that's not afraid to tuck it. Remember, he carried the ball 22 times last Saturday in that loss against Oklahoma. Smith, time to throw. Off his back foot, nobody open, throws it away. Tight end Alec Osborne was the guy closing. And this offense has moved the ball very well here in Statesboro tonight, despite the fact they got bad news this week that Tyler Kane would not be eligible for a sixth year from the NCAA. They were holding out hope that their fifth-year senior, sixth-year senior would get a chance. That's number 27. Third down and eight. By formation, you've got Gillespie in the slot on one side, Brown to the lower side. Smith to the air and nearly intercepted. Threw it behind the wide receiver and nearly intercepted by Christian Matthew. This is Xavier that, Brown the target. Yeah, but this is that part of the field. There's a little sun still coming in. It looks like Brown just kind of gave up on the route. And this ball is very lucky that's not intercepted. The initial part of his route kind of gave up on the play. Malvan standing at his 43. Sky high, Crockett calls fair catch, has it go over his head, it hits inside the five, and the Warhawks will down it at the one. Timeout. A lot about Georgia yep. Southern on that drive, and we did a nice nine-play touchdown scoring drive. Now, the heels of their end zone, what can he do? Breda. Great run by Breda wow. to get out from the one yard. He rushed for last year, continues to be a record breaker, doing it in the classroom, doing it on the field. Great offensive line, but an extra special running back in Breda. Breda gets it again. This time, no running room for Breda as Marcus Hubbard, the safety, hit him. You know that he, you know, he, can, he can pick him up and put him down, but it also forces you to be in man coverage from some outstanding wide receivers. Breda gets it again. This time, wrapped up and dropped for a so third down and 10 from the 15-yard line. And Upshaw will go to the air and throws complete to B.J. Johnson, and that's a first down. Now one of the first of his passes in the first two games, first and 10. Keeper Upshaw runs into the arms of Chase Davis. Big play out of Georgia Southern. Second down and eight, ball. Fields 
And Fields not going to be able to turn the corner. Tacklers this afternoon if you expect to win this game. Another third down situation. Eagles two for five on third down so far tonight. Upshaw to the air and misses his man. Had two guys kind of in the same spot. Game. So Flynn kicking from his 21. Marcus Green will not be able to field this one. Hops in front of him, goes out of bounds. And the 35-yard line, 36. Hawks back on offense at the 36-yard line. 21st play run by the Warhawks, and it is a pass completion to ex handoff goes to Carter, and Carter going to be stood up at the 45-yard line. Cover a, a back out of the backfield, can come up and make a big hit. Need something out of Iron Head now. Not going to get there. Big defensive stand by the Eagles. Kick, Crockett, fair catch, called for and made at the 15. Produce, or you know, or Ellison isn't producing, then you may have a problem. But right now, so far, so good. Well, Upshaw back out there for a second consecutive series. So this is the first time we see him kind of break serve on this thing. And Upshaw going to run the ball. And Upshaw up to the 21-yard line in a first down. Picks up about 12, 13 yards, gets a first down. Again, both quarterbacks have the ability to throw the ball, some a little bit better than others. Wesley Fields on the carry, and Fields get second down and 10. Ball at the 22. To the air, Upshaw under a heavy rush and being chased. And will throw on the run and out of bounds. This game. Third down and 10. Upshaw goes up top for B.J. Johnson, catches it over his shoulder, and then it's going to be good for a first down at the 49. Watch B.J. Johnson. He dropped this in the bucket. Great concentration over the shoulder. Does a nice job. Justin Backus does a nice job in covering. Yeah, don't. don't. A taunting offense number 12. Mm. 15-yard penalty, it'll still be first and 10. Wow, As I that's... was watching the replay, didn't see the flag thrown, but you knew you had to throw. For the Eagles, six and a half minutes to play here in the second quarter. Hand off Wesley Fields to the outside. First down and more for Wesley Fields and driven out of bounds by Bacchus. Upshaw got a man, throws to Miles Campbell and low for him at the 42. You know, before we forget about it, the B.J. Johnson catch was outstanding. Ball at the 44-yard line. 137 yards rushing now for the Eagles. Option. Pitch goes to Fields, and Fields going to get submarined at the B.J. Johnson. Three by one formation, you think, pass. Upshaw going up top, and Crockett can't run under it. And it's going to be fourth down. Passing game outside of that great throw and catch by Upshaw and Johnson. Been a little bit spotty here in the first half. And again, I'm not certain that there was not a, a, some type of miscommunication. Miles Campbell was the inside receiver, number six. He kind of just stops. And we have a flag. flag. Yeah, did you see Thrown at the sideline. This is going to be on the Eagles. After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct, defense number 20. Oh, pardon me. 15-yard penalty and an automatic first down. I just That's assumed. Number 20's first unsportsmanlike conduct for the game. I just assumed the Eagles because it was right on the side. Get off the field, and then you give Georgia Southern. You don't need to give Georgia Southern a lot of opportunities. Yeah, football. Gives them a fresh set of downs at the 30-yard line. Ramsby. L.A. Ramsby down to the 25. Georgia Southern makes him pay for that mistake. Ramsby, second consecutive carry, first down carry for Ramsby. Hunter was... Ramsby showing these certain length, and so is Fields. First and 10, ball at the 20-yard line. Up top, Upshaw looking for Crockett, overthrew him. And Bacchus is... ...about the play. I understand you trying to get in somebody's head, but you got to keep the ball moving and make smart plays. 
Talk later. Second down, run an option. Upshaw the keeper and Upshaw down to the 15-yard line. Griffith making the tackle. <laughs> Max Magnus, 71. You sometimes you watch this offense. Third down and five. How many times have we said third down and, and long or something for Georgia Southern? This is a workable situation right here. I think this is a four-down situation if I'm GSU. Upshaw, heavy rush. Griffith comes after him. He had to get rid of it. Ramsby was open, but Griffith was... A 32-yard kick for Young Wei Koo from the right hash. He's one for one this season, a 28-yarder last week against South Alabama, and this one is good. Try the first down, get six on the board, but they'll take three. Tyler Bass with the kickoff, and this will not be returned to the Warhawks. And bring it out to the 25-yard line with just under four high school football coach. Man, he's, he's living the life. The head coach of the Eagles. Keeper Garrett Smith going to be wrapped up immediately. No running Smith right there. Ryan George making the tackle for the Eagles. Friday night. Smith over the middle and intercepted at the 39 yard line. You give me a league way. And the Eagles have it. Third interception. After the play, personal foul with targeting Georgia Southern number four. Oh, my the goodness. Previous plays under further review. Wow. See Mays High School. Watch number Keep four. Keep your eye on number four right there. Let's watch him. Oh, that's what the targeting penalty yep. is going to be right yeah. there. I don't think that was. I, I think he hit him in the chest. I did, too. I thought he hit him with the shoulder. I thought he hit him with the right shoulder, high in the chest, but not in the helmet. But that's the play that's in question right now. After further review, there is no targeting on the play. Number four kick remaining in the game. There is a 15-yard penalty. It will be first and 10 for Georgia Southern. So the personal foul penalty, and I even have question about that, but the personal foul penalty stands. The only, thing, the only thing I'm going to ask you, does he leave his feet? That's a great interception. Uh, May, maybe, maybe, maybe he launched himself. That's the only thing I could see to make the personal foul. Yeah. Well, the 15-yard mark-off will back it up to the 38-yard line. So first... And now you're asking ULM's defense to continue to stay out on the field and grind and grind and grind. Ellison keeps it, and Ellison tackled at the 40. Tim joins us up in the booth. Second down and seven. Ellison to the air and nearly intercepted by Griffith. Watch the press. He came in number one in the conference, converting 58% of the time. That's not been the case here tonight. Ellison on the run, not going anywhere. Gets slammed to the turf. Donald Lewis, the redshirt freshman. Before the Warhawks. So no momentum for the Eagles after getting that interception, and certainly the penalty probably had something to do with that. Let's see if they'll drop a flag on this. Flynn ended up on the ground after the rush. No flag. The Eagles fans are highly upset about Don't want to do anything to change the tempo of this football game. Dump it off for Luckett. And Luckett out to about the 21-yard line. Previous possession. And, and you got to make a decision, too. Second and four, are you trying to be tempo and maybe get some plays, get some points on the board, or you want to try to make sure you get into the half? And Xavier Brown with the catch. Yard line. He is close to the first down. Xavier Brown, the big catch early in the ball game. That time able to go low and catch the ball. Pass thrown to the other side. First catch of the ball game. The passes for ULM. Second and five, very manageable. Eric Smith, 9 of 13 in the game. Throws, and it is caught by a Jalen Holly. That's another first down for the Warhawks. Up to the 41-yard line, and that will stop the clock to move the sticks. Texas catches it, gets the first down. Pushed it out here where they can be a little bit more aggressive, and they go for the home run, and Holly, and he can't run under it. Come off the field on the next play and get the ball back with some time. Eagles have three timeouts remaining. 
Smith throws. Luckett's got it. He should pick up the first down, and he does. Runs to the sticks and runs out of bounds. Hey, but a nice catch again by Luckett in moving these chains. First and 10 from the 47. Garrett Smith throws and incomplete. Yeah, far enough for him to run on you. Second down and 10 from the 47. Warhawks on top, 14-10, jumped out to a 14-0 lead in the first quarter. Smith going to run. Takes the throw and run down from behind by a leagueway at the 40. Ball at the 45. Can the Eagles get their defense off the field? Garrett Smith going up top, step for step. Coverage and broken up at the last moment. What a play by Brinson, the freshman. By one, the one to the opposite side was Brown, a speedster. But a great job by Brinson to get that, get that left hand in and back that. And I guess they like the matchup there with uh, Brown on the freshman. Balvans kicks it. It's going to hit inside the five, and they're going to pin him inside the five for the second time in this half. Man, 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 Matt Pollage, the special teams coordinator, has got to be. Looks like they're going to take a very safe formation with B.J. Johnson, the wide receiver, yeah. lined up deep. So they're just going to kill the clock and get off the field. In fact, the Warhawks are already moving in the direction of their locker room, and so are the Georgia Southern Eagles. All in all, a very impressive first half for the Warhawks, who came in here probably Pretty big underdogs given they were beaten by 20 points by this team at home a year ago. They jumped out to a 14 to nothing lead in the first quarter. And Stan, they're going to take a 14-10 lead to the locker room. Georgia Southern outscored their opponents in the first half 38 to 6 so far. Only able to put 10 points on the board. You've got to be excited if you're ULM and if you're Georgia Southern, you're looking at penalties and missed opportunities. Kind of kept them from only getting more points on the board. 200 and they've got to really pin it on the second half of their game against Oklahoma last week where they were thoroughly outplayed and dominated in the first half but in the second half held their own with the Sooners. Craig Ford with the kickoff Monte Crockett will come up to the 13 yard line to take it and Crockett up to the 31 yardage football winning over 84 percent of their games. Breida takes the toss. Brita will not be able to get around the edge. Nice. Second down and nine. Brita goes in motion again. Instead, Upshaw going to throw the ball and throw it to Wesley Fields. He had it and dropped it. Couldn't haul it in with one hand. Matt, that's the second time where there have been obvious pass situations for Georgia Southern this game, and they've just flat out dropped passes. Might be a little deep. you got to lay out for that. If you can get one hand on it, you can get a second hand. You've got to lay out and try to make that Blitz coming up the middle. Upshaw gets rid of it, and it's caught by B.J. Johnson. He scrambles forward to the 42 with his second effort, and depending upon the spot, he might have the first down. Blitz coming. They pick it up. You see a nice little block by Breida. Watch Johnson. Does his knee go down? No, just a nice little seat roll over the defender. Back as he's back in the ball game after that penalty early in the ball game. First down, Georgia Southern. Rita on the carry, pulls his way forward to the 47-yard line, so Brita gets a tough five yards on the first down carry. You get in the end zone. Brita with that six-yard pickup up to 52 yards in the game. Now Ramsby. Ramsby slashes forward to the 49 across midfield and close to a team. Third down and a yard. Ramsby again, and he will push his way to the first down at the 47-yard line. Knee surgery. He's a fourth-year junior. So first and 10 from the 47-yard line. Fields goes in motion. He takes the toss. Fields is going to be pulled down by Ingram. At the 40. Come back on the reverse. Keep your eye on 36. He's right there on the hash marks. You got two bats in the backfield angled in. Now he goes in motion. Brita, no, they're going to toss to Crockett on the reverse. Crockett's got a lot of running room down the sideline, and Crockett shoved out of bounds by Trey Hunter. 
nicely executed by the Eagles. First and ten. Hand off Ramsby. Ramsby pulling his way inside the ten yard line. L.A. Ramsby hard to get on the ground first and goal to go for the Eagles. Ramsby goes about 5'11", 210 pounds of all muscle. Hit there, count it. Gets a little help right there by Northwood, but nevertheless, picks up big yards. Ramsby, no running room this time. Going to be thrown for a loss by Ingram. Back. Upshaw has to cover it. Looks like he took his eyes off the ball when the ball was snapped to him. Third down and goal now from the 20. Johnson in man coverage at the bottom of the screen. And that a three by wide, three by one formation. They've had success with this today. Heavy rush. Upshaw has to get rid of it. And it's going to be 47 yard attempt from the middle of the field. He's already hit a 32 yarder tonight. And this one is going to be on the mark as well. And so the Eagles, they had it first and goal to go at the six. To take the lead, have to settle for three and a one-point deficit. Four and a half. They are. And you get this win, it'll be a nice celebration time in Monroe. Go to Pecan Land Mall and hang out for a bit and then get ready in two weeks for Auburn. But first things first, now it's their turn to put together a nice drive before the half. They bring it out to the 25-yard line. You mentioned the schedule. What a kind of enjoy that first conference win, but a lot of time to go. Hand off to Luckett, and not much running room for Ben Luckett as the running lanes. Not only last year, but this year alone, but so far not being able to get the ground game turning other than a couple of chunk plays early on in the first half. Second down and eight. Garrett Smith to the air and throws it away. Xavier Brown the target, and now it's going to be third down, and we've talked a lot. Three and out, and then gives it off. It's, you know, time to get back on the field. This is huge for both teams. ULM one of six on third downs tonight. Garrett Smith stands in the pocket, goes up top. There's nothing out there, and it's going to be incomplete. Devontae Haggerty was the target. Nowhere close, and it's a fourth down, a three and out. Punt. Five kicks for a 41.4-yard average tier tonight. End over end. Crockett has a chance from the 31. One man misses. And he's right up the middle. And Crockett to the 46-yard line. And really good field position for the Eagles here in their second possession as Crockett comes up a little game limpy on that one. And Cisco made the tackle on the flag down as well. And Crockett's a little lame after making that return. 15-yard return for Monte Crockett, the number one punt return man in the Sun Belt Conference. Personal foul, face mask, kicking team number 81. 15-yard penalty added to the end of the play. It'll be first and 10 for Georgia Southern. The wow. defender can stay in the play, but his helmet came off as a result of the foul. I think that's on the corner. Yeah. <laughs> what was he doing? It's a kicker, man. He's trying to get out of the way. <laughs> He's the kicker. What was that? Fans on their hands, very concerned. Football team, not great body chemistry, body language. It's all changed now. Ellison in there at quarterback, going to pitch at the field. Fields has one man to beat, and Fields down inside the 30, down to the 29-yard line. Keep an eye on Breida. See Breida right there at the last He's angled in. He's nailed. Either can be a dive back or a reverse guy on option or either a blocker. There's the option. He's the pitch guy on this one. Gets by Ingram, and Ingram finally catches up to him. Full. I'm thinking six. Fields in motion. Instead, Ellison will keep and get dropped at the 24-yard line. Moorhead there on that tackle. Hey. Moorhead was just there to clean it up. Third down and four. Ellison, day again. Didn't get to the sticks, and now it's going to be fourth down. The pursuit that we had talked about early in the ball game continues now for ULM. They continue to strive by this? No, no. I, I think you got to get some points. you got to get some momentum. This is a good offensive line. They'll blow off the ball. Now they're just trying to get him to move off sides, and I think the Eagles move. I, I don't think they had any intention whatsoever to run a play. 
False start. Offense, number 46. Five-yard penalty, fourth down. That was the tight end, Ross Alexander, who moved. So that takes the first down from the left hash. And that kick is on its way, and that kick is going to be good. Young Way Koo has given Georgia Southern their first lead of the ball game with his third field goal of the night. 16-14, Eagles finally on top here in Statesboro. Bass has teed it up and ready to kick it off. And Bass drills it to about six yards deep in the end zone, non-returnable, so they'll bring it out to the 25-yard line. And my question to you, Stan. But you can't have a negative play here, wing formation motion. Garrett Smith being chased to the outside and throws out of bounds. Ineligible receiver downfield. Number 64. The penalty is to climb second down. That's the right tackle, Eastwood Thomas. Back to back, 200 pack plus pass yardage ball game, 251 against OU. Marcus Green going to take the handoff. Marcus Green has a first down. And Green finally dropped at the 39 by a league way. Love the. Smith hands it off to Luckett. Luckett picks up about a yard and a half. 90 and 99. <laughs> Those are some big guys inside. That's 640 pounds of defensive tackles. Gallon was out there. Last Saturday in their loss to Oklahoma. So success on third downs. Not really been there for the Warhawks. Heavy rush. Smith hit as he throws out of bounds. Holly, the intended target. They're really breathing a lot of pressure on Garrett Smith, and that has affected his accuracy in a big-time way. So Balvan standing at his 25-yard line to punt. Crockett takes it. Fair catch is called for at the 16-and-a-half. He makes it. And that's where the third quarter, Matt Stewart along with Stan Luter, as the Eagles go back on offense, first and 10 at their own 16, and Fabian Upshaw back in there at quarterback. Only 3 of 12 passing for Upshaw, 5 of 18 rushing. But 212 yards on the ground now for the Eagles. Pass is thrown and is complete to their tight end, Kevin Ackerman. Over the top, gets a first down. And then Ackerman goes in motion. They hand the ball off to Burita. And Brita up to the 31-yard line. Tyler Johnson making the tackle for the war. And come back inside. So second down and seven. Fake a handoff over the middle looking for Crockett. He can't run under it. Collectively, the Upshaw-Ellison combination, five of 16 passing for 71 yards. Heavy rush. Upshaw going to run out of there. One man to beat. Gets right by him. Upshaw down the sideline and out of bounds inside the 40 and a flag out at the end. Who needs to pass when you can run like that? After the play, personal foul, late hit out of bounds. Defense number 23. 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. Nick Ingram with the 15. Blew right by him like the roadrunner and the Coyote. First down and 10, ball at the 24-yard line. Brita picks his spot, runs right up the middle. Picks up about eight on the play for Matt Brita. Remember what we begin to bang and bang and bang, and you can see the numbers continue to just add up for Matt Brita. Number one in the FBS rushing the ball last year. They're number two this year. Not this time, though, is Tyler Johnson. Wraps him up and throws early for the seventh highest rushing total among FBS players in the state of Georgia. Currently number eight on that list. Herschel's at the top of the list, by the way. Fields, first down carry down to the 14-yard line. And they pick it up. You got a quarterback. It's good. They can do a little bit of both. Handoff Fields, gaping hole inside the five. Wow. Down to the two goes Brita. 
So 264 yards of rushing off and Upshaw with 48. So nearly four guys with 50 yards rushing here tonight. Again, Upshaw has trouble with the snap and the Warhawks are on top of it. Warhawks recover the fumble. Darian Ford was there to hop on it when Upshaw makes another mistake with the snap. That's a low snap that time. And because it bounces right off of his right leg. Offensively. That is the first carry of the night for Thomas Kofi. He's got some speed, a little size at 5'11", 220. Two and a half to play here in the third quarter. Quick pass, and it is dropped. Wow. Georgia Southern getting you drop zones. Dare Smith to beat you over the top. Or does he have the leg strength to be able to run around the corner? Garrett Smith not going to get there. A league way. Saw it coming. Stops him at the 11-yard line. Yeah, it's going to be really difficult. Stack the line with 10. Booming kick by Balbans. Backs up Crockett to the 38. One man misses him. A second man. And another nice return by Crockett across the 50. And down to the 48. That was a big time catch and kick by Balvance, But a better return. And a flag down on the field as well. After the play... Personal foul, defense number 26. 15-yard penalty from the end of the run. It'll be first down for Georgia Southern. The Hawks played here. They nearly upset the Eagles in the final game of the 2014 season when the Eagles clinched the Sun Belt Championship. That win later vacated because of NCAA sanctions. Pitch comes to Wesley Fields by a man and Fields out to the 42-yard line. Great run by Fields right there. Today, they could pull off what would be considered, I think, an upset in the Sun Belt. No question about it. Ellison's in trouble. He's going to go down. Drops back at the 40. So, second down and 14. And you're noticing that, that ULM is putting a little more pressure on the quarterback. Ellison, keeper. Run out of bounds at the 38-yard line. But the problem with the Eagles... At the Warhawks, 37. Eagles now with a two-point lead. Matt Stewart along with Stan Luter. Some belt opener for the Warhawks. Eagles already 1-0 in the conference. Ellison on the keeper. First down. Down to the 29-yard line. Kevin Ellison. Rams beat those guys being able to plant and then take off. First down and 10. Ellison going up top, far sideline. And B.J. Johnson. Cannot come up with it, but we have flags down on the field at the 11 and at the 16-yard line that Stan would seem to indicate we've got contact on the Warhawks defender. I think you're going to get Ingram. Holding. Defense, number 20. It's Bacchus. Automatic first down. Two big transfers this Warhawks defense lost prior to the start of this season. Ramsby stands in the hole, waits for it to open up, and then heads to the outside. Ramsby inside the 10 and down to the 2. Tall, but again, the change of direction goes inside and then has the vision and the balance to be able to bounce to the outside. Remember, you got to protect the backside, and they're not able to do that. ULM, a big game for Ramsby and Georgia Southern. First and goal to go, Ramsby, not this time. David Griffith got penetration. Group of three linebackers right there to build on. Second down and goal. Alexander, the tight end in motion behind the line in an H-back position. Ramsby. Stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Nothing doing there. Now third. And Wesley Fields checks in beside Ellison. Keeper a screen. It's Fields touchdown. Wesley Fields takes it in. From three yards out, and Georgia Southern has taken an eight-point lead.
Wesley Field with the to go along with three field goals. Here's Young Way Koo. Try to make it a nine point game. He does. That's doing is two things, getting you further behind and keeping your defense on the field. Georgia Southern's run over 80 plays in this game so far. And they haven't had great field position. Three yards or negative yards. They've got to find a way right now to get a productive drive, keep their defense off the field, get some points on the scoreboard. Still plenty of time left in the game if they can figure it out. They got Marcus Green in there, and that's a wise move. They hand off to him. A flag flies. Nothing doing for Marcus Green, however, as a league way makes the tackle. That's the eighth tackle of the night for a league win. I'm telling you, he's had a really solid football game. And did you notice there were eight guys in the box for Georgia Southern daring ULM to make a pass or throw a pass Offside. in 11 of 24. Defense, number 40, five-yard penalty. Smith's 11 of 24 in that one pick in the ball game. Marcus Green in the backfield. you got to find a way to get the ball in his hands, and they do give it to him again. Just not a whole lot of running room. He's got to get some of the block for him. Vegas Hart. He's loosened that box a little bit. Now they line up Green in the slot. Second down and one. Keeper Garrett Smith. And Smith picks up the first down at the 30s. Just their 10th first down of the game. The Eagles have 26. Starting the fourth quarter, only 71 yards rushing for Louisiana Monroe. There's Green. Let's see if they try to get him the ball here. He goes out on the pass route. Wide open is Turner. Turner, man, misses him. Turner inside the 10 and down to the 7. Eyes on that. You talk about trying to extend the defense, put them in a position to score. That was the play. First and goal to go for the Warhawks at the 7. Oh. And luck it. No luck it for him right there as he got stood up. At the line of scrimmage, big time tackle by the Eagles. This time it was Griffin making the big play. Luck it, no. Keeper Smith, Smith trying to turn the corner, not going to be able to. Spun out of bounds by Gallon. You buy wide to the lower side of your screen, you've got Turner. Running the fade for the corner, and it is caught for the touchdown. Luck. And now the Warhawks are down only two. In 2015. And Ford. Crockett can return this from the two. And he was nearly on the ground when he fielded that thing. And Crockett tripped up at the 22 yard line by Jerry. Watch this one. This one looks like his knee's down. I'm going to say something crazy. Watch the shadow. Watch right. the shadow. Shadow knows. That's very close. It yeah. looks like his knee's on the ground right there. Yeah. But if you look at it from the other <laughs> that's angle. Why it's, that's why I'm saying right. that, yeah. Those guys get worn out. You know, they really work hard. After further review, the ruling on the field stands yeah. is called yeah. first out of the 21-yard line for yeah. Georgia Southern. Yeah. But, you know, good check. What it does is it takes away a little momentum offensively for Georgia Southern to get out on the field. Let's see what they're doing first down. Upshaw, the quarterback, hands off to Breida, and Breida not going anywhere. Ran right into Jared Dunn. That took about three minutes to, to review there. 22 and a half. 316 yards of rushing for the Eagles tonight. They averaged 362 a game, which is second best in the nation. Upshaw going to run the other way. And Upshaw got tripped up and falls forward to the 26. That's a four-yard pickup for Upshaw. You're talking about over 300 yards. The last five seasons... Holding, offense, number 75, 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul, second down. It's Curtis. See how explosive Georgia Southern offensively can be. Well, the Eagles have lost only once in 21 Sunbelt games in which they've rushed for over 300 yards. 21 games since they've been in the conference. In the conference, yeah. And the handoff goes to Breida, up to the 25. He's got a first down. Initial nope, that's, I'm not Breida. They've updated field stats. He's now up to 84. So Ramsby and Fields, the top two rushers tonight. Upshaw cuts it back, and Upshaw to the 31. Georgia Southern. Yeah, Eagles had to call first a timeout time the because they didn't get a man timeout. off the field. Fields was late getting off the field. You see Summers giving him an ear field right now. Uh, Fields was late getting off the field. One lead for 
Georgia Southern earlier today out of conference play. Georgia State lost late to Wisconsin. App State got blown out at home in their big game against Miami. Heavy rush, and Flynn, that's going to be a flag. Eagles going to get the ball back. That time they ran into him, and there was no question about it. And that's going to be a first down for Georgia Southern. Personal foul, roughing the kicker, defense number 28. 15-yard penalty, automatic first thing the Warhawks needed right there because now the Eagles can go back into let the air out of the balloon mode. Mark this drive beginning or continue at 7.42 remaining in the fourth quarter. Ellison in there, another flag out. Ellison turns the corner down the sideline, but this is probably coming back because the uh, referee, Jason Autry, threw the flag in the direction of those big offensive linemen. Holding, offense, number 75, 10-yard penalty, first down. Curtis Rainey, second time that Rainey's been flagged on this series. You know, as a freshman year. last year. But Max yeah. Magania, who was going to be their left tackle last year, got hurt. And Culber stepped in and did such a great job. So he, you don't, you don't have any experience. Yeah. You, you, really, you really don't, even though they're very talented. Ellison. Another penalty. Yeah, play got blown dead. Let's see. False start. Ball start, offense, number 80, five-yard penalty, first down. That's on Ackerman. Fresh. Rita runs into. And on field two, man, Rita. Uh, you hand the ball off to Ramsbury. Most teams would not do that, but Georgia Southern, you hand the ball off to Ramsbury. No, you fake a handoff and let Ellison throw it. There's contact downfield and no flag, Bacchus. Made the play. It looked like there had been contact, and he was able to hop up over B.J. Johnson and knock it away. Good play by Bacchus. Yeah, it was, but I need, you know, I need him to calm down. He, he made the play go back in the huddle. Remember, he's still got that one unsportsmanlike conduct. Yeah, he does. He wraps that left yep. hand around the receiver's left hand and arm, so he may have been able to get away with one. He away so he should be excited, but okay, you did. So then go back and sit down chill out a little bit, all right? Let's make another play. He got away with one yeah, right there. Yeah. Third down and 19. Ellison doesn't even get back to the original line of this game. Goes down into 532 mode. Marcus Green back at the 15 yard line for this return. High kick. Green calls fair catch. He wants to get under and make a play, and he fumbled the ball going out of bounds, but it goes out of bounds, and that's a one. As they go back on offense with just over five minutes to play, first and ten for ULM at their own 34-yard line. Garrett Smith back to pass, fires across the middle, incomplete, throws into double coverage, trying to connect with Marcus Green. I'm not sure if he was trying to connect with Green or scores matching the last player to do it for the Warhawks, and that was Pete Thomas. They run the tunnel screen. Xavier Brown, first down across the 50 and down to the 40. My count. Yeah, that is catch number five for 72 yards. First and 10, ball at the 46-yard line. They sling it out there to a Jalen Holly. Been a while since we called his name, and Holly gets knocked down by the safety, R.J. Murray. Second and seven. Three catches for Holly tonight. Garrett Smith to his right, throwing off his back foot. Nobody to take it to, and throws it into the bench where the offensive linemen are sitting there congregated for the Eagles. Have 305 yards of offense for Smith tonight. Pass is complete to Luckett, and Luckett has the first down at the 34. Nicely executed as they throw up. Only seven carries for 12 yards, first and 10. Luckett gets it again, a league way right there. They're down to nine on the game clock, or rather on the play clock, and nothing doing. Bernard Dawson. Caught him from behind. Big old dog and then make a decision. But if I have to make a decision after cutting it in half, I'm trying for the field goal in the lead. 
Big play right here. Both teams, they go up top for Holly. Battle for the ball in the air. Incomplete, and a flag comes out. That's going to be on the Eagles. Pass interference, defense number five. No, it was Darius Jones. Jones. Darius Jones is called for the penalty, so they get bailed out on a third and 13. Matt, what you're going to see, there's a little hand fighting right there, and then see he knocks him off stride, and he's not able to get back in the route, and that's where the pass interference is called. What they were doing initially up top was okay. So first and 10 for the Warhawks, and they are in a great spot right here. This is where you really start milking the clock if you can because you got a fresh set of downs to work with and you're now in field goal range. Keeper Garrett Smith down to the 15-yard line. He picks up six. So if I'm the Warhawk stand, I'm running the ball in the middle of the field and I'm milking the clock for all I can on the play clock. I'm surprised they snapped it that quick. They had plenty of time to burn. Yeah, but that's not what I want to do. Throw a ball and it's incomplete. I mean, they waste, they lost. Going a lot of time. Third down, four. Try to get the first down if you're ULM. If you draw the Southern, you've got to make the stop. Third and four. Heavy rush, and Smith takes a sack back at the 25-yard line as Chris De La Rosa drops him and now this changes the whole complexion of the field goal try from chip shot to 42 or 43 yards. De La Rosa comes from his Mike Backer just comes in untouched a big time play a mistake by Smith timeout. you've got to throw the, the ball away Second you cannot take half. a sack it's a full timeout. and a big time play and the lead blocked And the Eagles will take over on the Warhawks' side of the 50. You just had the feeling that Georgia Southern, with that push inside, couldn't tell you who got the block right now. We'll see it coming up. But there's that push. We're talking about Ellison 99 and Sap 90. R.J. Murray. It Number two, R.J. Murray. Georgia Southern, the 15 yard penalty from the end of the run, first and 10. R.J. Murray blocked it. And he's not a big dude. He's but um, his defense rose up in the head too, didn't they? They absolutely did. Big time play for the Eagles, and Upshaw back in there at quarterback. Handoff goes to Brita. And Brita, did he stay in bounds? Apparently, he stepped out. He didn't want to do that. Timeout. Oh, Louisiana. Oh, second Warhawks charge. Timeout. Called the timeout. It's a three that second timeout. One. But uh, there's very little left for the war. But it doesn't look like they're going to get the upset. And Brita gets thrown to the ground. Ball pops out after the plate was dead. And I think Warhawks just used their final timeout. So that's going to bring up third the down. On the field is the runners. Timeout by the Warhawks. And Upshaw is going to go down at the 40. There's the delay of game penalty right there on the Eagles with 17 seconds on the clock. So the Warhawks are going to get one last shot at this thing. Play offense number 55, five yards fully. A, a, a much improved Western Michigan team. It should be a very interesting battle. And send the heavy rush. Flynn gets it off. Green calls fair catch. Makes it at the 27-yard line. Well, here you go. Ten seconds to play, and the Eagles drop as deep as they can go on defense. Heavy rush. Smith throws. It's complete. They'll try to lateral. The ball is loose. It's going to be scooped up by the Eagles, and that is going to do it. Georgia Southern survives an upset bid by UL Monroe and improves to 2-0 in the Sun Belt with a 23-21 victory over the Warhawks. And the Eagles now 3-0 and the new head coach, Tyson Summers. Georgia 
Southern 23-21 victory over UL Monroe. And now they'll play four consecutive games on the road. They will not be back here at Boston Stadium until a Thursday night game against App State on, uh, on ESPNU October 27th. And here tonight, they beat the Warhawks 23-21. And now for Stan Luter and the entire ESPN team, I'm Matt Stewart. Good night from Paulson Stadium for the Eagles improved to 2-0 in the Sun Belt.